Sometimes we encounter medical situations that leave us wondering, what the hell? Check out this eye-opening photo. So this lesion grew in three days, as you can see on the lower eyelid. And um, Drew, what are we looking at, buddy? We are looking at a good old pyogenic granuloma. And typically they do grow very fast. And if you remember your pathology book, Proud Flesh, you see how fleshy that looks? Yeah. That's just an overgrowth of tissue in response to some sort of trauma. I mean, but that would freak you out. They're yeah. on, on the uh, lid margin that size and growing that quickly. I mean, somebody would go, what the health is that? Yeah. But fortunately benign, yeah. usually. Totally benign, but it still would freak you out. When you get any kind of lesion right there in the conjunctiva, you have to be careful as well, because if you think about it, every single time we blank, your eye is dependent on a smooth interface and anytime you have a growth on your eyelid, that inner part of the eyelid, if, if it's abnormal at all and there's any kind of indentation, you, you theoretically could start scratching your cornea. And you say you've seen a lot of these. Have you seen a lot on the eye just like that? Not on the eye, no. I mean, you'll see them. Occur anywhere. I mean, anywhere Any on the body, brain, very often. Body. If you have trauma, you have, a, you have a wound, the part of that wound may develop proud flesh like that, treat it, and it should be the end of the problem. And what was nice about this one was after it was treated, after three months, there was um, no evidence of uh, recurring and there was no scarring. So Sometimes the things scar. that look the scariest in medicine are fairly easily treated and other things that look somewhat benign yes. are truly scary. That's why whenever you're in doubt, we always say go get it checked out.